If you like oversized hoodies and fiery ears, then boy have you found the right video. What's up Game Weeper, it's the Jizz, and in today's video you will learn everything there is to know about the newest champion on the Rift, Vex. We'll be talking about her abilities, combos, laning phase, runes, builds, everything. Now Small Fry has banned in over 50% of games at the moment, so it might be hard to actually lock her in, but when you can, you can 1v9 games as well as anyone. So let's get into it. So let's start with your passive Doom and Gloom, and there are two paths to it. So Doom, periodically Vex is going to gain Doom, which empowers her next basic ability, QWE, to knock down affected enemies and cause them to flee. And during this fear, they are also slowed as well. Now this bar you see underneath Vex's HP bar, this is your Doom bar. So when you have Doom ready, this will turn red, and you can also tell you have Doom stacked by looking at your basic abilities. The actual icons will turn a greeny color rather than their usual purple. And the second part of your passive gloom, nearby enemy champions that dash or blink, as well as targets hit by your E, will be marked with gloom for 6 seconds, like you can see here. So your next basic attack, Q or W, against a target that's been marked by your gloom is actually going to consume the mark and deal more damage. And gloom has a very brief cooldown, so in team fights when champions are dashing and blinking everywhere, lots of these will be marked by your gloom and your AoE and damage in these team fights can be nuts. Now it's also important to note for your gloom that if you auto attack champions that have been marked, this is actually going to refund some of your passes cooldown, which is really important. This is going to allow you to get more fears off. So for example, when I land my E and then auto attack the target, you can see how I replenish my doom bar a lot quicker. And also enemies who are feared by your doom, the further away they are from you, they will move more slowly. So the closer they are, the quicker they will actually run away. And it's also important to note that if you basic attack a gloom target, this basic attack is non-projectile, so it cannot be blocked by Bombs Unbreakable, Yasuo's Wind Wall, Samira's Blade Whirl. Now let's move on to your abilities and talk about your Q, Mistral Bolt. So Vex unleashes a wave of mist in the target direction, dealing magic damage to enemies it passes through and accelerating in speed, but after traveling 500 units, it is actually going to reduce in width, so it just becomes smaller the longer it travels. But the problem for your Q is that it travels so slowly, so any good player who's actually paying attention to the lane will be able to dodge this. So ideally, you'd want to be using your Q to harass enemy champions who are last heading, saving it for CC, or if the enemy champion is just close to you. Using it from max range probably means it's going to miss, but because it's on a 5 second cooldown at rank 5 and it does a good amount of damage, this is the ability you are going to max first. And it's also important to note for your Q that you can Q flash. So if you want to catch an enemy champion off guard, or if you want to try and kill someone who's really low, queuing and flashing at the same time is definitely the way to go. Now your W, personal space. So Vex emits a shockwave around her before the cast time, getting a shield for 2.5 seconds and dealing magic damage to all nearby enemies. Now the shield scales off your AP, as does the magic damage of course, but its cooldown is pretty long and it does cost 75 mana. So really you're going to be using this for the shield itself to nullify the enemy champion's damage when they're jumping onto you. But it's also an amazing way to set up ganks for your jungler because if you flash W onto the enemy champion and fear them with your passive, it's impossible to react to. So as an engage tool with your flash or your ultimate, as we're about to find out, personal space is a great tool to use. Now your E looming darkness. So Vex commands Shadow to fly to the target location and upon arrival, Shadow deals magic damage to all nearby enemies and slows them for 2 seconds. Now the further away you cast this, the bigger the radius will actually be, as you can see. And the slow is really useful because it allows you to land your Q. So if you can land that E onto an enemy champion who's slowed and even feared with your doom, this allows you to then land your Q, which is typically kind of hard to hit. It's also a better way of harassing enemy champions and poking them in lane than your Q, just because the speed at which it travels is a lot higher, but it does cost 70 mana, and its cooldown is a flat 13 seconds, so if you do use this a lot, you will go oom very quickly. And one more tip for your looming darkness, guys, the target is going to be feared away from the center of your E, so it's almost like an Orianna shockwave. If they're on your side of that radius, they will get pushed into you. If they're on the far side, they will get pushed further away. Now for your ultimate, Shadow Surge, and Vex commands Shadow to launch itself in the target direction, and it deals magic damage to all enemies hit, minions, monsters, but it does stop upon colliding with an enemy champion, and this collision marks that enemy champion for 4 seconds, reveals them as well, and this then allows you to recast Shadow Search, and this will pull Vex towards the marked target, and upon arrival you will consume that mark and deal magic damage. But this is where it gets really crazy, if the marked target dies within 6 seconds of being hit by Shadow Search, you can cast your ultimate again at no additional cost for the next 12 seconds. So you can get multiple Shadow Searches off in team fights, and the damage you do is completely nuts. Now it's important to understand how insane the ranges on your ultimate. 
it. So you can use this from either river to gank bot or top lane. You can use this to even lane gank later in a game. There's just so many opportunities because the range is so ridiculous. But remember, it is still a skill shot. So if that enemy champion is fully mobile, you're looking to ult, chances are you're going to miss it. So try to use it on targets that are fully CC'd and you will reap the rewards. Now, one cool trick you can do with your ultimate as well is to actually combine this with your W. Now, remember, your ultimate is not going to proc your doom, so it will not fear targets. So what you can do if you land your ultimate, as soon as you dash towards that champion, use your W and it will instant fear them. This is a great way as well to get in team fights. So let's say there's enemy champions behind the target you've hit with your ultimate. You can use your W and flash if you have to, to fear multiple targets who are behind the one you dash to. So there's a lot of application for this. Now, a couple more things about your ultimate. It can be recast if the target died to the ability, not the dash itself. And the actual dash will track the target even if they flash away or go into fog of war because your ultimate does actually reveal them. So pretty much there is no escaping it. Now let's get into the combos you have to know. Now, one of the most basic ones, and this will really be for the laning phase, is just using your E to set up your Q poke. Because remember, your E is going to slow the target by two seconds. So when they're slowed, it makes it a lot easier for you to land your Q, especially if your E procs your fear. Now, once you hit level three, there are multiple ways of actually engaging onto the enemy champion, especially if your jungler is ganking. So one way, as I said, is simply to flash W onto your enemy to fear them. This then guarantees your E and Q and the actual damage you do in that space of time is insane. You probably don't even need your jungler to help you. And the other way, if you have your fear ready, is simply to land your E onto the target, run up to them with your Q and have your W ready. But let's just say you want to trade at level three. Well, one of the simplest ways to trade is again, to use that E Q combo, but to save your actual W. This is because the shield is going to be invaluable when you're trading because you can mitigate the enemy champion's damage. Remember, you cannot really use your W unless an enemy champion is really close to you. So you're just saving this until they jump onto you. So really you're using this as a defensive tool. Now at level six, we already looked at the ultimate combo where you dash into the enemy champion and then W instantly to fear them. But the real combo you need to know about is just the maximum damage combo. So when you ult an enemy champion, dash into them, press W, E and Q at the same time. And this is all of your abilities used on that one target. And they will be blown to the gray screen. And another combo with your ultimate that's important to get down is simply using your ultimate off of your fear. Whether it's from your Q or your E or your W, using your ultimate is then guaranteed. Remember, nothing is going to block your ultimate, so you don't have to worry about a minion or a monster blocking it. It will travel through anything until it hits that enemy champion, and you can dash to them and kill them for free. Now, in terms of the laning phase on Vex, taking E at level 1 is actually better, just because it's easier to land than your Q, and you also get a free mark off Looming Darkness if you hit the enemy champion, which you can then consume with your auto attack. Now, this is also good for wave clearing, but if you can hit both the enemy champion and the wave at the same time, this ensures you hit level 2 first and you damage the enemy champion as well. But remember, your E is on a 13 second cooldown, so once you use it, you are going to be weak. And also remember the Vex, you don't really have any mobility apart from your ultimate and your flash. So you are very flash reliant in the laning phase. This makes it really important to track the enemy jungler so you can hold either the north or the south side of the mid lane to create that space from a potential gank. But apart from that, everything else is very simple. Your Q, because it doesn't cost that much mana, use it to poke the enemy champion when they go for last hits. You can use your E in the same way. And remember, your basic attack range is 550. So against champions like Twisted Fate, Orianna, LeBlanc, you actually outrange them. And against melee champions in particular, because these typically have dashes like Talon, like Zed, these will give you free gloom stacks. So auto attacking is going to be a massive part of your actual damage output, especially in the early game. Now in terms of your skill order guards, really against ranged champions, you want to be starting with your E first, just because it gives you more range. But against short range champions and melee champions, starting with your Q, just because it's on a lower cooldown and it will be easier to hit against these short range champions, this is a little bit better. Now at level two, you want to skill your Q or E, whichever you didn't skill at level one. And then at level three, you want to skill your W. So you have all your basic abilities by level three. Then you max out your Q, followed by your W, and then your E last. And of course, put a point in your ultimate at 6, 11, and 16. Now in terms of your runes for Vex, there is clearly one page that is outperforming all the others, and it is this one right here. So taking a Lechkut as your keystone improves your trading potential during the laning phase. But just remember that using your auto tax is so important to proc this on a regular basis. Then we take Taste of Blood for the sustain, Eyeball Collection because it's easy to stack, and Ultimate Hunter so you can get more ultimates off. Remember, your ultimate is really your only form of mobility, so having this on a lower cooldown is definitely going to be beneficial. Then for your secondary tree, take Inspiration with Biscuit Delivery and then Time More Tonic. This is just to make you more lane dominant. Then for your minor runes, take Attack Speed. This is to help you with your auto attacking, so you can auto attack more to manage creep waves and damage the enemy champion, and then Adaptive Force, and then Armor or Magic Resist depending on the mid lane matchup. Now for your Summoner spells on Vex, Ignite is definitely going to give you the most kill pressure. So if you think you can kill your opponent, take Ignite. But if you don't think you can kill your opponent, then taking Teleport is definitely an option. And 
last up for your items. Taking Luden's Tempest as your mythic is definitely the best option at the moment, just because the magic penetration and its mythic passive is going to amplify your damage output and one-shot potential. After this, and it kind of depends on the mid lane matchup, you can get an early Seeker's Arm Guard against those assassins in the mid lane, but generally speaking, Horizon Focus is going to be your next item, because its passive works off your CC, so the fear and the range also works really well with your ultimate. Then, depending on the enemy team composition, you might want to finish off your Zonyo's Hourglass, you might want to get Rabadon's Death Cap, Void Staff if they have magic resist, it really depends. Morella Nomicon is also good if they have a lot of healing, and you can also go Banshee's Veil if they have a lot of AP and skill shorters. Now for your boots, there's only one option, Sorcerer's Shoes all the time, you are all about that damage. So take these tips and information when you play Vex guys, if you did enjoy the guide let us know by leaving a like down below, also make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our future daily uploads, and also make sure to check out the GameWeb website at GameWeb.com, linked in the description and comment section for bonus content like champion courses and guides, VOD analyses from the best players in the world. We upload up to 20 of these a week. So to get that exclusive access, sign up. And until tomorrow's video, this has been the Cheers. Bye.